All right, you guys, we're up here right now filming a little, uh, you know, get together. Orion. Orion, and then Victor. Victor. So shout out to uh, two awesome subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just doing some, uh, just doing some repeats right now, killing ourselves on our bikes. So awesome to meet up with subscribers. What's your guys' favorite video? Uh, yeah. I like your vegan videos. <laughs> What is going on everybody? Coming back to you guys again with another video. What we're doing today is the Sunday Q&A. And of course I just got done training. The only thing I ever do train, legs. Serious. So let's get to it. Yeah, but first I'm gonna take these off. A little sweaty. Shout out to the crow behind me that won't shut up. Alrighty guys, so the first question is going to be from uh, Idran Nuh, who says, Do you watch the Game of Thrones? If you do, are you excited for tonight? What is your favorite character? Who is your favorite character? And I am stoked for Game of Thrones. Everybody, it's Sunday. It's the 24th, I believe. New season starting up. Uh, I have so many favorite characters. If I had to pick one, though, I would have to say Tyrion Lannister. How could you go wrong? All right, and the next one is gonna be coming from Kara the Queen 5 How many calories do you estimate you burn on one of your cycling rides? Do you have any advice for someone who wants to eat more but not necessarily gain weight? Uh, great question, Kara. The main thing with this is uh, cycling is great and everything, but you should not be riding strictly to burn calories. That is not the main goal or shouldn't be the main goal. If you do like to eat more, cardio is a great tool for that. It's a great way to uh, increase your overall expenditure. Therefore, you are able to eat more without necessarily putting on weight. So uh, that could be in any form. Obviously, I recommend cycling. Swimming is also great too. Anything that's low impact on the joints. Uh, running is great too. Obviously not as sustainable long-term as cycling or swimming, in my opinion at least. Alrighty, and the third question is going to be coming from NGZ21 who says, What is your favorite and worst challenge you've done so far? I would have to say my, my favorite challenge really it changes with every challenge that I do. I feel like I keep getting new favorites uh, the more I think about it. Right now for me, uh, I would say the favorite challenge overall in terms of taste, in terms of just uh, how I felt afterwards and everything like that with recognition from uh, the staff and everybody in the restaurant had to be the Oink and Moo Challenge. I currently have that challenge named after me here in San Diego. It's at a place called Fallbrook. Again, at a place called Oink and Moo Barbecue. It's called the Lampinator. I had 42 minutes to complete that challenge. It was a monster burger over nine, I believe actually 10 pounds of food. Uh, so if you guys are in the area, go to Fallbrook, check it out, order the Lampinator. You guys have believe an hour to do it. If you finish it under 42 minutes, you get bragging rights and you get to name it after yourself. So check it out. And I would have to say my worst, and I would have to say my worst challenge was probably the Krispy Kreme Donut Challenge. Uh, that's a very popular video on my channel, but just in terms of how I felt afterwards, the day afterwards and the day after that, I just, ugh, did not sit well with me at all. Alrighty, and the fourth question is gonna be coming from Michael uh, Tizakaris. Sorry if I butchered your name there. If you were able to go back to any time period and meet anyone, which time period would you choose and who would you meet? That's actually a great question. I'm actually a huge history buff if you guys don't know already. I'd love to go back to the 40s and 50s and either meet uh, Winston Churchill. I'm gonna say it, I'd really like to meet Stalin just to see how they worked, how their brains operated. Uh, just get to talk to them. Not that I supported their ideologies or their beliefs or anything, but I just would like to talk to them and see what they have to say. Alrighty, and the next question is going to be coming from uh, Reed18 Eagle. It says, aside from foodchallenges.com, how exactly did you find out about the Lucky 7 Challenge and its progressive jackpot? And this is also a good time for me to give a huge shout out to foodchallenges.com, Randy Centel. Check it out if you haven't already. Awesome website. We'll give you all you need to know about food challenges and everything like that. Strategies, uh, various food challenges in your area. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome website. So give it a shot if you haven't been to it already. I actually did not find out about this challenge via foodchallenges.com. I've known about this challenge for quite some time, actually a few years really, but up until recently did I actually go and do it. The next question is going to be coming from Jade Yari who says, what led to your childhood obesity? Was it your parents, bad food choices, lack of exercise, etc.? A uh, great question here, Jade. Uh, my childhood obesity essentially was all myself. Uh, I don't necessarily uh, put it on my parents or anything like that. It was just a lot of sedentary activity. Uh, I was an avid gamer. I played World of Warcraft for 15 to 16 hours a day. You pair that with Cheetos, a lot of Skittles, Sour Patch Kids, and a lot of brownies. And that's how you end up essentially. The next question is going to be coming from Cody Vegas who asks, what are you going to do with that $1,300? And me being me, I was planning on spending it all on blow and cheap hookers. 
No, but really guys, I'm going to put it in my bank account and I'm going to save it. A lot of kids in my generation, and that's why I call them kids, choose to blow all their money on games, video games, uh, purses, new sunglasses. Don't worry, they only cost me 35 bucks. And just a lot of stuff that really doesn't matter. I am an avid saver. Uh, if I do spend my money, it's on food, my YouTube channel, or bikes. Essentially stuff that's gonna benefit me in the future. And the next question is gonna be coming from Jordan J26, who says, sorry if you haven't told us already, but what is this blue bracelet that you wear for? Love your videos. Uh, thanks for the compliment, Jordan. This blue bracelet is called a road ID. Uh, cyclists, swimmers, runners, pretty much has my information on it. In case I do get in a crash, I'm not able to be identified. Uh, anything like that, they know who I am. They obviously can look at your driver's license, but not everybody carries a driver's license when they ride. Uh, so they have my contact information, my parents' contact information, a lot about me. That's what the blue bracelet is actually for. All right, and the last couple are going to be coming from my Facebook, and this one's going to be coming from Bob K. Who says, "How much longer do you have until you graduate, and what do you see yourself applying for as a future job?" I actually found out earlier this year, and if you guys can recall, in one of my past vlogs, I thought I was going to graduate this summer or possibly next semester, but I'm not going to be out until next summer actually so i have another year left it's kind of unfortunate but it is what it is as far as a future job i see myself doing something uh, people wise i love being around people i love interacting with people uh, possibly something within social media honestly though i have no idea specifically what i want to do so if you guys have any suggestions feel free to lay them on me i was actually thinking about becoming a uh, potential uh you know youtube celebrity but got a long ways to go and the last question is coming from Dylan D, who says, when you graduate, do you have any plans to move? And Dylan, I live in one of the most beautiful places in the world. I'm able to ride my bike pretty much every day. Right now, I have no plans to go anywhere. Alrighty guys, so that was the Q&A for this week. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, feel free if you haven't already to follow me on my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You know the drill. This will probably be the last time that I film in my gym parking lot, but yeah. Thought I'd switch it up. Give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video. Love you guys. See ya.